Hello everyone, this is Stalin Rush, and we're playing some more Crusader Kings 2 Rise of the Myophysites. So, uh, last time, uh, this king? Pretty sure he's a king. Yeah, he's a king. Uh, decided that he could attack us under our leash, even though he has top control over the territory. Which is a bunch of nonsense. And I can't declare any wars on anybody else in the realm, so I don't understand. But, uh... I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do about this. He's just going to take this land here. And there's nothing I can do about it. So... I'm just gonna preemptively surrender. Lose as little as possible. Let it be what it is. Uh, that's rough. I don't think I lose any gold, but let's just put it up to speed three because that's going way too slow. Come on, come on. There we go. And we're done. So, does he have anything on us? He has no claims anywhere. So, we will lower everything we got. Bam, and well, bam. Uh, you do Magistros, which I guess 14 is so much better than 9. And we'll improve over here. And Sunder. Cemender. So, this guy, for whatever, he's attacking somebody over Fogia? Um, Fogia. What's... That's not there. Let's, let's find out where this Fogia is, or whatever. Um, find title, Fog... Fogia. So... Over here? You're kidding me. Um... Is that what he's doing, or is that just what's going on? After years of careful planning, the court has raised a large enough. Where is he? He is. Oh, this is a host invasion. That's definitely not good. Host invasions are stupid powerful a lot of the time. Um, and this guy, he is reigning in Derbent. Derbent. Oh, that's why, it's their leash. Psh. Yeah, this guy's going to jail. Jail. Now safely lock away. Good. Um, can we do anything with him? Uh, prisoners, um, this guy? 70 gold. But it is Durbent. Durbent's pretty good. I think I'm gonna just revoke it from him. So... Revoke title, nobody care. Done. Well, nobody care but him. <laughs> and that'll bring us up to... Ooh, a nice chunk. Uh, about 2,000 men. We can't have war within... Uh, wow. Uh, under the rules law of our king, emperor, whatever. So, absolute, I think not. Yeah, uh, royal laws of Turica. And, whoa. Tartaria? That's, uh, empires. We want kingdoms. Ah, I see. That's why he can attack us, I think. Yep. He owns things in there. Patience of virtue. Uh, yeah. Have we become patient? My son. Um, she be blind! Wonder why she's blinded. Hm, oh, whatever. Um, we can press the sure claim on here. Abbasids. 
Abbasids, Abbasids, Abbasids. Um. Hmm. Interesting. We probably can't. No, no, we can't do war. This is just a bunch of nonsense. Um. And not do war on him. I'd love to, but we can't. Crowned law allows vassals to wage war on each other? No, it doesn't. So. I guess we could see how the Abbasids are doing. Um, they are about 8,000. It's a lot more than I want to deal with. And weak claims on what? Uh. Okay. Oh, I see. Ah, I still can't take them. And what, what about this guy? Where is this? That? Um, how many does he got? He has about 700. Uh, if I remember right, there's some sort of nonsense going on here. He's um allied with him. This guy is. The Great Byzantine King. Wow, okay, well, that's not cool. <laughs> Can't do anything about that then. Uh, we'll just unpause. Um, okay. Can't create anything, can we? No, probably not. My son, uh, Art of Vazd, is a charitable little rascal, but he gave his newest toy to the smiths on Carol. Done. Um, yeah, we gotta let these go down. They go down every month? Nope, just every so often. Guess we'll just, uh, speed for it while we wait, because really nothing's gonna happen. Um, this guy likes this a little bit more. That's good. Um, great peace. Offer good. Um, feast, summer fair. Um, could go on a pilgrimage. What do I get from it? Eh, let's go pilgrimage at our age. Nah, let's have a summer fair. Nope, pilgrimage it is. Uh, we'll go to Jerusalem and see the wonderful Holy Land. Uh, where the Ark of the Covenant lies. But my face will melt off. Nobody wants their faces melted off. And to coach like the apostles. Well, let's melt our faces off. I think that seems like a proper thing to do. Speed 5. Things are packed. Everything is ready. Soon I will see old Exum, the holiest place in Christian Africa. Let my journey begin. I have been appointed a regent. Um, good guy regent. Sleep deep in the night. Sleeping in the pilgrims in. Uh, okay, sleeping in the Pilgrim's Inn, you dream a beautiful dream. You are walking through a dense woods filled with the wonderful sounds and smells of nature. Little squirrels run across your path and birds sing in the trees. You keep walking through the wood, and then you notice a new and strange but familiar smell. You can't quite put your finger on what it is, though. Hmm, it's something you should know, something important. Yeah, hmm, yes, it's, it's, it's fire? You are instantly wide awake, the room is hot, you can hear the sound of crackling flames, and a moment later you also hear people screaming. Indeed, the inn is on fire. 10% chance I get wounded, and 30% of brave, or I gain craven. And... I... Gained? I'm so depressed. Um, didn't gain anything from that. Alright, cool. Uh, as you pass through a small village along the pilgrim's path, as an old woman comes across you, she has recognized you as a pilgrim and explains that her daughter and her family live close to your destination. They are suffering hard times. She asks you to bring them a large purse of money. Of course I will help. Of course I will help. Secretly add some money of your own. Uh, of course I will help. Lie and keep the money for yourself. Ten gold. This is none of my business, you old crone. That seems like a good thing to do. Uh, Exum. You have finally arrived at Exum. This is one of the oldest centers of the Catholic Christian faith, 
and it is here that the Ark of the Covenant is kept, guarded by monks inside the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion, though no longer the great city it once was. Aksum is still an important center of pilgrimage, and you can see many travelers in the street. It is a beautiful ancient Aksum. Uh, the saints, this holy ground, how is all, how it all moves my soul. At least now that all of my life up to this point has only been in preparation for this journey. How wondrous that the light of the Lord truly shines in me, a poor sinner. From now on, I shall always do his work. I have become a zealous. Only 29. I thought I was older than that. You have finally returned from a pilgrimage for this rewarding and interesting journey, and you'd do it all again if you could. So it's good to be home. Cool. Green Sea is Good, 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 good. My co-conspirator has hired someone to saw through the supported rails of... Well, that's sketchy. Of course he is a heretic. Heretic scum. Holy man came to the court today to talk about matters of faith, but it soon became clear he held rather unorthodox views. Being a zealous defender of the church at all times, I believe I did the right thing when I gave the order to imprison a bla blasphemous pagan who dares criticize my faith of my, of my church. Um, I was still shaking with rage as the pagan's blasphemous words when Mamagon took the opportunity to whisper good work in my ear. Um, failure? Crap. At least he is clueless. Alright, that is true. Um, 10, not interested, 10, not interested, 10, not interested, prison for 18 years, this must be the, uh, the guy, queen mother of, wow, of, <laughs> my opinion, eh, whatever, don't care, no one plots a uh, fabulous claim on the duchy of Chimera. Um, and plot, uh, now. Common laws allows vassals to wave war on each other. Grr. Assassinate. Um. Whatever. That's why I want him dead. Because. <sighs> traveling poet has called himself the Bard arrived today. A good for nothing nobody. Hmm. Intrigue and diplomacy. Like a cynical. If he does anything wrong, I will break every bone in his body. Hmm. Pleasant. Uh. Yeah. Uh, Bishop Melk. Meh. Who had introduced the bard to the court was not pleased with me promising to break the bard's bones. I tried to explain that I would only break the bones if the bard tried to do something unpleasant. But Bishop Meh. I did not accept that explanation. Um, I, I lose Roth. Uh, gets ashamed. Minus three to intrigue. Ouch. That's not good. That's what we at. Um, Eleven? That means we were at fifteen before. That's kind of broke. Uh, well, on pause. Because, again, we're not doing anything. We're just waiting for uh, Levy's race to lower. Uh, I hereby invite you to a grand feast in Constantinople. Your presence at the feast would be greatly appreciated, and I look forward to your attendance. I will travel to the feast. Definitely. Why not? I'm a, I'm a good chap. I, I enjoy a nice feast every now and again. Um, my leaves, there is a rumor that is one of the nobles might be corrupt. Um, do it as you see fit. Excellent. Decided not to risk upsetting his vassals and confess to the allegations of corruption. I will take some time before his prestige recovers and I have, have with me the fine I collected. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So... Where... Lose the boss on next session? Um... Uh, wait, wait. Which one are we? We are at Vesad. And... As for said, as for said, our capital is Sukaran or something or other. So what do we keep? We 
We'll keep this horrible place. One, two, three. Oh, we keep your bent. I'm fine with that. I know I'm gonna keep my gold and see what happens. Um, oh, uh, I don't feel too well. Something is wrong with me. I'm burning up. I mail. Well, dang. Uh, greets us warmly. This feast wine was served in the most delicious scent came from the kitchen. Thank you for having us. Yes. My Emperor Lord, Mr. Man Dude. Uh, thanks for the food. Uh, feast is over and it's time to begin the long way home. After the food and entertainment, the warmth, the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. Will there be a feast next year? Probably. I would imagine there would be a feast. My son Abbas makes sure everyone gets exactly the same amount of whatever sweets the cook gives to the children. I'm proud of him. He's just good. Uh, I don't think we can fight with Georgia. Um, so... Declare war. Must have a cast of belly. Oh, okay. Uh, I suppose we could f get one. Uh, I suppose we'll wait. The fever's gone. Sweet. No more ill. Just a quick sick. Um, no characters. It's also good. Yeah, I'll we'll just kind of wait. I think the lower because those things are high. I've been at war for non-stop for who knows how long. Um, let's make sure everybody likes us. Pretty much everybody likes us. I don't know why it's disordered like this. Probably because people are in prison. Um, infidel. What? She is Slavic. Demand. I could have her killed. It might be interesting. Um. Now what? I'm gonna look. Family. Make sure my son is. He's 12. All right. Not a big deal then. Uh. The Great Vogue, the Duchy of Bosnia. Alright. Uh, let's see, any other factions? Nope, no factions. Uh, still not willing, still not willing, still not willing. Okay, be that way. Uh, commit suicide, done. Um, I kind of want to go on a grand hunt. That's uh, a straight fewer than one. That's not good. That means I'm going to die soon. Uh, feels a risk too much for my expedition and try to pursue it. It's such a thrill. <laughs> I need that wartime goodness. The myophysite faith. Um, whoa. Damn loading screen. I just want to look at my face. How am I doing? Um, where am I? Capital is over here. I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> Uh, second Byzantine Holy War for Aleppo on this dude. This is the Abbasids. He's at 13 right now. And military organization. So now we will get more retinue. 100%. Maybe. Maybe not so much. Guess not. I was thinking about it. It's come to my attention, the chance are uh, blah blah. Better not use it. And use it as you see fit. Um, some thugs to kill me. Luckily I managed to get away and I will go ahead and spread the rumor about his corruption and destroy his reputation among his vassals. Good, so... Noble here in Churston? Uh, I decided to go ahead and use the claim. Um, Churston. Where is Churston? Eh, whatever. Basically, I have a big problem now. Uh, here in Tristan, I found out the local noble is homosexual. Blackmail him. Uh, when guests arrive, my son is the first to greet them and shower them. Gregarious. So, when's his birthday? He's 13 and he was born in September. So, a few more years. Uh, then we'll switch over, see if we can get him with, uh, Proper education and being a not a misguided warrior for one. Um, somebody die? Um, whatever. Uh, we will excommunicate him. Nope. 
Uh, educate child for to this guy. Done. And who are we arresting? That guy. Why? He killed Baron Akistaf of Tarki. Tarki is over here. Torki? Um, yeah, I think you're going to jail, man! Now safely walk away. Because that's what happens. Get locked away. You were gravely mistaken. Um, could revoke your title. Either, you don't need both. Uh, done. Lucky I do not kill you. Um, 25 gold now. Eh. So we control this now. Nope, we we hold this. Sweet. It's not bad either. Um, what are we at? We are now at... Dang, we have quite an army now. Uh, two, eight, almost 3,000 men just to raise from our uh, vassals and everything. That's not too bad. Uh, since that's that case, let's get this guy to like us some more. Um, uh, High Almoner, Cup Bear. And we'll send him a gift. Good, good, good. And demand religious. Nope. Is there another guest? No. Um. Hmm. For now, we will have him improve relations in... Nope, we'll have him fabricate a claim on Georgia. There you go. That's what we're doing today, man. Um. Again, our guy is... He's educated because we keep screwing that up for him. Um, in that case, we will give him to him. It's a gray eminence. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, we'll give him to him. Done. Worst case scenario is actually a decent son. Um, nothing, nothing. What's Kumania doing? They have a war with Kumania. It is probably something I'm wanting. Yep, let's go to war with Kumania. See what we can do. Um, Kumania will declare war for nothing of importance. Take it. Uh, how about these guys? Nope, can't declare war on them. Are they Slavic? They're probably Tangri. They are... Orthodox? I did not expect that. Um... Sumanusko... Uh, Turkestan? How about Turkestan? They are at... Could go to war with Turkestan. Well, they were for Turkestan. But... Who are they allied with? They are allied with them. How many of these guys got? They have about a thousand. Um, and they are all Zoroastrian? Please be Zoroastrian. Dang it. Sunni. Uh, Sunni. Saffrids are Sunni. 3,000. Check out the Abbasids. They are at 20,000. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. These are all the Sumanusko. Um, we'll go to Spin 4 and let's time pass by while we do nothing. Um. Let's hold a feast while we're at it. Cool. And now we just wait. We'll go back to speed 5, because really, we don't necessarily want to go to war right now. Um, no feast complete without a boar meat. Who will get the prestigious task of hunting and slaying the boar needs for the feast? Send out Marshall. He has 80 effects. Uh, send out my son. Hmm. 
My son will do it, because he is an amazing guy. Uh, the best part about preparing a feast is deciding which food stuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar and duck, spices, wine and ale, honey for the dessert, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. I'll spend lavishly. Once my food is prepared, I hear my you too. Um... Click, click, and my son. My 14-year-old son, at nonetheless. I guess I have finally arrived. Cool. This will uh, help me out a bit. I uh, started talking to one of my guests in the fees and found them most interesting. I honestly buy wine, bottles were emptied, others guests excused themselves and went to bed, but we kept talking until the wee hours. Cool. I'd be 100 then. We are friends. He really likes us. <laughs> uh, last of the kids have returned home, and everyone agreed that it was the year's uh, greatest feast. Nice. Um. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, they weren't Abbasids. Because if they were anybody else, I could probably take them, but that'd be too rough. Um, any other things? Uh, Grand Hunt. Whoa. Hold the Summer Fair. Alright. Why not? Because, uh... It's declared... Turkey and Propolagonia to sure we're over next on this guy. Uh, just to sure perform. Cool. Uh, after a couple of days just spending some time doing things I love. Hunting, reading, and visiting friends. Life does not seem as great as it did before. No longer depressed. Sweet. Um, I had invited a monkey to serve him right. He is at war with all that. Tell them to accept a peasants. Yeah, I don't need revolt risk right now. Uh, peddlers are loading their wares, merchants, blah blah blah. Cool deeds. Um, Grand Hunt needs to be... Right now. Good. I have Grand Hunt to be organized. Oh, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, the sight hounds searched for blood this gentle afternoon, and they brought us many hairs. Cool. Hmm. Sight hounds searched for blood in gentle afternoon, they have brought us many hairs. Those dogs are just destroying rabbits. Grand Hunt was over now, and the truly noble endeavor is a true challenge for martial ability. Cool. Uh, and that. So, uh, seems that nothing's really happened, uh, and hopefully we'll get something going soon. I'll probably have another episode right now. So, uh, if you feel free to hit subscribe, you'll get updates when the videos go live, and hit the like button, it helps out a ton, and I will, um, see you guys tomorrow.